In this lesson, we will talk about unary operators. Let's double click the file. Let's double click the tab to expand it. We have unary plus operator which tells Java that the integer is a positive integer and we have unary minus operator which tells Java that this number is a negative integer. If you don't give any operator here, by default Java will assume this to be a positive integer. We have unary increment operator and the operator looks something like this, two consecutive plus signs. And when we say a plus plus, what this does is it will increment the value by one. So it essentially does a equals a plus one. In within increment operator, we have post increment and pre increment. So in this instruction, we're doing post increment, which means we're printing the current value of a and then we're incrementing the variable a. So if you execute this statement, we would get 20. But, but the next time you use a value a, we get the increment value. For example, this instruction prints the incremented value. But when it comes to pre-increment, we're incrementing the value of a by 1 before we print it. So this statement will actually print the incremented value. And we have decrement operator. It has two consecutive minus signs. And what this essentially does is this. It does a equals a minus 1. It will decrement the value of a variable by 1. Even in here, we have post decrement and pre decrement. In post decrement, we'll print the value of a and then we'll increment. So in this instruction, the value of a is currently 20. So in this instruction, it would just straight away print the value 20. But after it prints, it will decrement the value of a by 1. And the next time we use the variable a, we get the decremented value, which is 19. When it comes to pre-decrement, we are decrementing the value of a and then printing it. Finally, we have logical complement operator. This would just reverse the result of a boolean value. For example, is a greater than b? We have a and b and a is indeed greater than b. The result of this statement would be true and the result of this statement would be false because we're essentially having the same equation here but we're kind of negating it. So the value of this instruction would be false. Let's try to run the program. Alright, here is the output. The initial value of a is 20. When we are showing the result of this instruction, a++, the value of a is printed first, which is 20. And then the value of a post increment is 21. In here, we're doing pre-increment. So the value of a is incremented and is printed at the same time because it's after the increment operator we have the value a. So the current value of a is 21 it's now incremented to 22. In here we're just resetting the value of a back to 20. Now we did post decrement the value of a is printed and then in the next instruction we have the decremented value and hence the result is 19. In here, we're doing pre-decrement. The value of a is decremented and printed at the same time. And we have logical complement operator. Is a greater than b? True. And the logical complement of a greater than b is false. We'll understand and we'll definitely be using all these operators in our future programs.